straight fights, I'm actually like 15 and 0. The craziest thing ever happened to me a couple days ago. Now buckle up guys, this story is wild. So let me just preface and set the groundwork for the story first. Basically, I box. Now I haven't had any fights, but I've been boxing for a while. I train like six days a week. I spar a couple times a week as well. I usually box out of my home gym downstairs. So basically I have a garage, I have a full gym set up, and I usually box with the garage open because I get hot. That's like a day-to-day -day in training for me. A couple days ago, while I was doing this, somebody challenged me to a fight. Yes, it is bizarre. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking in this video. I wanna basically show you guys what happened. Now, mind you, I like to film all of my sessions because I do not train with a coach in my gym. So I like to look back on my technique and make sure I was doing everything okay. So as I was filming a couple days ago, a guy was walking back and forth and he decided to approach me and challenge me to a fight, and this is what happened. I did I did boxing growing up and stuff like that. Where, where, where did you do it? Uh, it was actually out of the Toronto area. Yeah. Are you from Toronto? Of, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I um I played hockey so I knew how to fight and just, I saw you doing that and kinda of wondering what's going on here. Maybe I'm gonna spar or something, see who's who's better maybe? What do you mean? We can make a little competition or something. Let's, what, what you, I don't understand. Well I just I see a guy, you know, fellow athlete doing a little boxing and I challenge him. So have you ever bought before, like in uh, in the ring? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just I should probably warn you if I'm actually gonna challenge you. It's, maybe it'd be good for you. I don't know. I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm pretty good. I have to be honest. I'm pretty good. I know multiple styles. I did karate when I was younger, and I've done ring boxing, street fights, MMA. How many street fights have you been in? I've been in 15. 15, you know. Wow. Yeah. In Toronto or here? Both. Both. Yes. Yeah. And you like you just. You just want to spar? I don't understand. Yeah, no, I was actually just out for a walk. I was just walking over there to the store, and then I saw you here. And so, do you want to spar? When was the last time you sparred? Uh, it's been a few months, to be honest, but uh, I'm, I'm game. I should be good, so. You think you can handle me? What do you say? I mean, I spar like every week. I spar like usually two, two times a week. I haven't had any fights yet, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, 15 no street fights, and I've been around, so. Maybe we can do a little competition, a little money, bet. You want to bet? You want to bet? You want to bet me? Hey, like, just being honest, just being straightforward. Well, I don't understand. So, like, how 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 was there a winner? Like, uh, a first one to quit or get knocked out? Well, we can do three rounds, and we'll say if somebody gets knocked out, literally, gets knocked out as the loser, or um, I don't know, that is... whoever's whoever, yeah, whoever taps out first. You know. Do you, you live around here? I haven't seen you. Nah, no, no, I actually, I just live actually a couple blocks down, but I don't usually walk over here. I was walking by today, and okay. here you are. Let's so. fucking, I, let's roll. Yeah. Do you have any gloves or anything? No, if you have some, that'd be great, yeah. Let's do it. So I was in complete shock. I had no idea what he was talking about. I was just hitting the bag, and he came up to me and said that he had won, like, 15 street fights, and that he saw me boxing, and that he thought he could beat me. He was talking a little bit of trash, but he was still trying to be kind of friendly. It was super, super weird. I was super taken off guard. And then he's like, oh, why don't we spar and, like, put money up? And I was like, what, how are you going to, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean put money up? First guy to get knocked out, like, lose, wins money, or... I don't know, he was weird, man. He was maybe around my age, like between 25 and 30, around my height too. So I guess like if he didn't want to spar me, we were roughly the same size, but I just couldn't believe it. He was like, I used to play hockey, so I know how to fight. I've been in 15 street fights, blah, blah, blah. And he challenged me to a fight. He started to annoy me. And I know that I shouldn't have done it, but I was like, fuck it, let's, let's spar. So we did three rounds and I asked him before, I was like, hey, I'm filming this. Do you mind if I film or spar as well? 
he was like, yeah, man, go ahead. Like, I'm going to want to watch it anyways after. And he was kind of being snarky and kind of being a dick. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go into the first round and, like, feel it out and let's see what happens. And this is what happened. So after the first round, I realized that he was not the best boxer. I realized that he was just talking a lot of trash, but I kind of figured he was gonna be like that anyways because bullies and people who are insecure usually bark the loudest. So after the first round, I realized that he was not on my skill level. And after about a minute, he actually asked to take a break because he was getting out of breath and he, and he was getting tired. So at that point I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna try and kill this guy. We're just gonna spar. So first round ended and we jumped into the second. So as the second round ended, I saw him getting a little bit tired and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give this guy a concussion. I'm not gonna punch him in the head as hard as I can. I'm gonna give him a body shot just to shut this guy up. So I swarmed him a little bit, gave him a quick left hook to the body and he dropped and knocked the wind out of him. And I was like, okay, perfect. For some reason, I was still annoyed. I was like, this guy's not just gonna come in here, challenge somebody to spar because he thinks he's tough. So I was like, get the fuck up. Like, you came in, talked all this shit, finish what, finish what you said you wanted to start. So I made him keep going. So we went into the third round and I just knew he wasn't on my level and I was like, you know what, I can punish this, I can pretty much do whatever I want to this guy. I don't want to kill him, I don't want to hurt him, he's just clearly insecure, so I'm just going to give him a quick little combo. So I backed him into the corner and I hit him with a left body hook and a straight to the head and he dropped. He was on the floor and I was like, okay, it's over, this guy can finally leave, I'm just, I just want to work out. And while he's on the floor, he was like, oh, that was a lucky shot, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this guy just doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. So he got up, 
and I hit him with a, a body shot and he dropped. And as he dropped, he was very annoyed. Uh, he was not happy about the whole situation. I didn't ask for money, I didn't say anything. I was just like, get out of here. I was trying to be as polite as I could to like get this guy out of my garage. And he ended up leaving and he was pissed. So that's it. I was hanging out, training, and some wannabe tough guy who's been in 15 street fights came over and said he could kick my ass. And we saw what happened. Now, people, violence is never the answer. But sometimes you gotta smack a bitch, and that's what happened. Yeah, I'm still in shock that this happened to me. It was crazy. I don't know, hopefully this idiot learned his lesson and he doesn't try to do that with anyone else again. What would you have done? Would you have done the same thing as me? Kind of take it easy on him, but still kind of beat him up a little bit? Let me know in the comments below and let's have a discussion. But remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Guys, share this video. I love seeing bullies get humiliated. So the fact that I got to do it was really cool. So share it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.